Hey guys, it's Karas here, and a lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial video on how to download and use custom skins, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here to show you how it's done. So a question I get asked often is that, is custom skins bannable? And the answer is, custom skins are 100% safe to use, but apparently in Korea there is a potential chance of getting banned. So if you play in Korea, I would recommend not using custom skins, but if you play in any other region, it is 100% safe to use. So first things first, make sure you download the latest version of CS Law Manager from GitHub. I'll post a link in the description below to check it out. And most of you will be using Windows, so make sure you download the CS Law Manager Windows Edition. After you download it, make sure you extract the file so you can place it wherever you want on your computer. When you open it up, it's going to ask you to locate your League of Legends.exe in your League of Legends folder. If it doesn't do that, then it automatically did. But if not, you have to find where your League of Legends.exe folder is and extract it with that. Then when you look at the bottom right, it says to import a new mod. So the way to get mods is you can either join my Discord and I have all the mods that I use on my stream. I use the old Summoner's Rift, I use a lot of Karthus skins, but if you don't want to use the, the mods I use, you should go on a website called RuneForge. That was, it used to be called Killer Skins, it's RuneForge now. Um, they pretty much have all the skins that you need. If you want any skins on any champion, any map skins, that is the website to go to. So you go there, or you just join my Discord and have all the files located, all the HUDs, all the other skins that I use. And you pretty much take it, you click import, and then you find the file, and then you just click OK, and then it should automatically place it onto your CS lol. After you do that, you enable the mod by clicking it, and then you click run. Uh, a note is to make sure that the CS Law Manager says waiting for a league match to start before loading into a game because if it says if it doesn't say that and you get into a game it will not load so make sure you wait for that. So you can use multiple skins. Uh, in this picture right here you can see I'm using old minions, old recall, uh, old summoner's rift. Pretty much it makes it to where I like to use the old Summoner's Rift with all the mods. So I have multiple mods on right now. So I'm going to run it and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I get into game. So as you see here, I'm using the old Karthus with the old Summoner's Rift. I have pretty much everything old here. You don't need to use as many custom skins as I do. But it's just me giving an example. You can see right here I have the old items with all the old items. So if you want to use all this stuff, you, all the files are available in my Discord. Or you can check out RuneForge as well if you'd like. So bear in mind when there's a new patch, there's sometimes that some custom skins end up breaking. So whenever a new mod has a new version available for download, just delete the old version and just add the new one into your CS lol. If you crash to the client after trying to load into a loading screen with the custom mod running, it pretty much means that you have an outdated mod. So the best way to do it is you try to run the mods one by one to see which mod is the outdated one. And if you ever need help, I have a channel in my Discord for uh, anybody who is struggling to make the custom skins work. So if you want to join the Discord there uh, for any help, you can you feel free to join. That's it for the tutorial. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like if this video helped you out. And thank you so much for watching.